Hi, Matthias from Pinegrove here. The first installment of our full site editing with blocks was quite a success and many users requested that we continue with this series and implement other details on our web page. So we will do that. Uh, and just to recap, in the first like nine parts, we created a landing page that is built using fully editable blocks. And we forgot something. So let's do that. Like here we still have the old name, default website name doesn't look good on our customized, customized site. So let's change it into Surfing Joy. And another issue is here that we don't have the link that takes us to the home page. So let's go to Pine Grow and find the element with the site name. So here it is. And now if we add site link, link to home and export the team and refresh. And because this is a dynamic block, it gets rendered every time it is displayed. So we always get the latest copy, the latest version. But still, we, we see down here, there is no link. So let's go back to Pine Grow. So one mistake we did, we, we added the site link action to the span element. And instead we should add it to the link element up here. So let's delete it. And the site name is, is okay, it belongs here. But then site link should go to the link element. And we link it to home. Export the team. Refresh. And here we have the link. It takes us back to the home page. Okay, so what to do next? Um, our fictional surfer likes to write blog posts about surfing. And here they are, uh, four of them already written. But if, if we display them, you know, we just see the content. And if we edit a post, we can see the title and the content and featured image is already selected and an ex excerpt, but it doesn't really display uh, right. It's just um, actually, you know, if somebody can tell me how do you view the poster page from like from the editor? The WordPress used to have here like a link, view post, view page, but it's, it's not here. And the only maybe way is here. Ah, oh, come on, WordPress guys, please give me back the link. <laughs> this is too much work. Okay. So it's just the content. So we need to create blocks that we can use to display the post, right? And again, you know, once we, we choose this path of using blocks for this simple full site editing, then we should stick to blocks to keep things simple. And of course, we could define a new WordPress template that displays a post like single PHP or, or, or similar. Um, but then the, the philosophy of our team kind of clashes. You know, we are using blocks for, for building the site and then we are using classical WordPress templates to display uh, posts it's kind of mixing two different things and it, it will make the situation 
complicated. So let's stick to using blocks. And our blocks page is quite full. So let's create a new page and we'll duplicate this one and we'll call it post blocks. And we will use post blocks as a home use the reason for defining our um, blocks that will display post content. So again, we don't want to export this page. We will just use it to define blocks. And we duplicated index. So here we still have the, the main loop. Um, let's remove it and the content. We remove that as well. Okay, so it would be nice, you know, to display because surfing is very visual. So we have lots of good photos. So it would, it would be very nice to, to display a header, a kind of hero for each post with a featured image in the background and a post title uh, uh, on displayed on it. And we can check if our Bootstrap 5 blocks have any suitable elements. You know, we could easily build, build them from scratch as well, but you know, why not use something if, if it's already ready? So this one would work fine. It's already in, in, a, in its section, so we just need to clean it up a bit. So here it has um, something we don't need. I'll make it larger and hide the things. So you see it has like the latest post, the latest, we don't need that. So this will be the title and here we can display maybe the, the date and we don't need the button. So let's get rid of it. Okay, yeah, that, that should work. Bring back the UI. So what we will do is we will make this a block. So let's say block, unique ID, and let's say post hero. And category will again be our page sections. And then for, for the title, we will not use block attribute, but we will use post title. We will display post title here. And here we will display post date. Because we want this block to be a dynamic block, you know, that, that displays the content of the selected post. And we can easily do that with blocks. Just add WordPress actions to, to the elements and uh, mix them up with block actions and that will then create a dynamic PHP block. Okay, and let's select the section and here we want to display the display featured image of the post. the size and let's select the full. Okay. Looks fine, right? So let's export the team. Okay. So here we got to notice and it says that WordPress actions are on block definition. And then it continues that non-block WordPress actions should not be placed on the main element with the block action. So what, what's that about? So let's say OK. And here notice that we have section element and it has block definition and post featured image. Post featured image is a non-block WordPress action, like regular WordPress action, while block is a block action. And it can kind of, this creates a problem when you export the blocks, it sometimes these two types of actions clash 
and the code that is generated is not really what, what we need, what we want. So that's why we added this rule, this check um, to prevent this situation. And the solution is very simple. We just create a wrapper element and define block there. So let's insert a div. And then move the section in, in the deal and then copy the block action and remove it from the section and then add it back on the wrapping deal. Actually, we don't have shortcuts for uh, in the menu, so I'll just press uh, command V to paste the action. So, okay, so now block is defined on deal and then it, it has the section with background image and so. Um, so the only drawback of this is that we, we will have one additional div in our mar markup, but that's not, not a huge problem. In this situation, it, it only affects dynamic blocks, not regular blocks where we only use uh, block actions. Okay, let's export the... Oh, and, and one thing, like for this part of tutorial, we are using the latest Pangrow 6.21. Uh, we added a couple bug fixes and, and tiny small features that we are using in this tutorial. So please make sure that you are using WordPress <laughs> Pangrow 6.21, okay? Or, or above, of course. Export the team, the, the error message is gone. And let's go back to here. Okay, edit post. And our post hero should be here. Yeah, it looks a bit strange, right? So let's edit in. But it's kind of empty, it has no image, I mean, no featured image, no title. Why is that? So let's first update. And see, when you update, you get view post link. And, but it's just gone from the UI. But strangely, when we, when we view the page on the front end, then everything is okay. We have the featured image, we, we have the title, the date. So what's going on? So the reason is, this is a dynamic block and it gets rendered on the server and it, it gets rendered outside of the WordPress loop. The WordPress loop loads posts or the current post from the database and it sets up all the fields. So then when we used post title, post featured image actions, you know, we have this data available and it gets displayed correctly. But here, when we use dynamic blocks, they get rendered on the server outside of this context of the, of the post. Um, and then these fields are not, um, not there, they're not displayed. And of course, that's not so nice, right? So that's why the latest Pangrow got a tiny new helper. So when you select the block, and if the block is dynamic, then at the bottom we have checkbox load edited post. And this only affects the block while we are editing it. It has no effect on how it is displayed on the front end. And if we select it, and let's take a look at the code preview and see here this function call gets added to the beginning of the block code setup edited post and what this does is it, it 
checks if we are editing the post and if we are editing the post then it reads the current post that we are editing and it sets it up so that you know then when we call the get the id get featured image the title and other functions we actually get the the correct um, information okay so well go to export the team and reload it here and see here it is the featured image is there the the title is here the date is here um, you might notice one thing that like the image is it looks like it doesn't have the background size property so let's investigate in pine grove because here here it's displayed okay so let's go here section has background cover and background cover is a class that and without it you see this happens and this is class that is defined with in bootstrap five blocks library the the library that we used here um, to get the hero block and this library also it comes with a simple block css file that defines kind of helper functions that are used here in background extras and because we use them in this theme, we should also include block CSS into the WordPress editor. And we do that with theme settings down here. And we can list multiple style sheets. So we are including our bootstrap style sheet. So let's also include blocks style sheet. Okay, save settings, export the team, go here and reload. You see, now we have background size uh, helper class available in the editor as well. So we did the hero, the header of the post. So let's do the rest in the next part so that this tutorial like the parts don't get too too long so in the next part we will take care of displaying the text and the excerpt of the post